Welcome back, I'm Jay, we got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining today. We're talking about your photos. Yep. And I, I feel, I'm feeling a little opinionated today. Uh-oh, you're all in big trouble. If you wanna be on this show, there's a few ways now. You can email your photos to pics at greengridiron.com. You can tag us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, however you want. It's going to take a little time that way, but we're getting flooded with pictures, dude. It's okay. Yeah. We, we, we love seeing them. And oh, yeah. man, it's, I think it's going to be a crazy summer. We have so much product in our warehouse right now. So if you need something, whether it's a field use helmet, a collectible helmet, visors, chin straps, you're looking to upgrade anything, now is the time to do it. We will be sold out come August if you're waiting until the last minute to get yourself the chin strap or visor you want. I'm telling you right now. All let's right, get, let's get into let's it. Let's dive into it. First up is Gabe. Look at that. Ten. I mean, that's sick, right? I love it. Uh, you know what's funny? <laughs> you, you you open one of them up, and I thought he was. I, I legit thought he was recreating like a Wheaties box cover. Oh my goodness! I mean, it's not orange. No, it but it kind of had that. It kind of had that really look. It really does. Yeah. Yeah, and if, and it's like, oh yeah, that's fantastic. That's a great point. Um. Yeah, super cool stuff here. My favorite face mask and my favorite color combo. <laughs> yeah, you got a Shock 1.0 visor, probably a Tiger's Blood or maybe even an old school, actually looks like an old school red black. Is it really a 10? Hmm. Mm. Gotta be, gotta be. Let, let's go with a 9.5. That's how you, yeah. that yeah. is how you treat an Eclipse. If, the, if there was no wrinkles in the flag, then, then we would have gone. Nah, that would just yeah. be You, can, you can iron those flags, right? Uh, probably. Don't, don't melt your flag. Yeah, don't melt it. <laughs> Next up is Samika and says, hey, my name's Samika. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Denmark. I play in a team called the Demons, and I'm the only girl on the team. I was about to say, you're probably if she's from Denmark, you're, you're probably pronouncing her name wrong. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe. I'm not good at that anyway. Cool helmet, cool logo on the side of this. Um, yeah, I like it. It's kind of a Tennessee Titans with the, with the D in there, so Very that's much. cool. Samika, 16-year-old girl, cool helmet. I want to see your best Heisman with this helmet on. Pe full pads, the whole the whole nine. I agree. Send in pictures of yourself. It's a little rare that we see females sending in stuff, but it does happen every couple of shows. Yeah. Uh, but this is a really great setup, and if you design this yourself, you got a good eye for equipment. Yeah, it looks great. I'm going to yeah. go with... Uh, I'm gonna go with an 8.2. Hmm. I know, I need That's to good. be I need to be a little harsher, don't I? I don't think so. Okay. People, the people want it. They yeah. want high scores, Jay. Okay. Don't you know that? It's an offense-driven. They're lying. Yeah. <laughs> no. So check this one out. This is dramatic. These, these are from Brian L. All right. Well, so Brian L. Is I mean, Steve, you. T tell us what's going on here. Like, how do you get these shots? I think that this is extremely intentional that he wants those real crazy dramatic shadows. And the only way to do that is to turn off the lights and have one massive bright light right on you and just own it. Yeah, I think it's cool. Shadow I like puppet. it. It's very um, harsh. Yeah, it's really, really stark. That black and white one, especially intense look on that little man's face. I, this is great. And I tell you, this is a new setup, you can tell, right? Brand new visor on there too, new yep. to the industry and new to him. Yes, so. we, got a, we, got a, we got a shock zero G, probably a zero G plus, um, hard to tell. Uh, we got the white Under Armour clips. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go high on this one too. I'm gonna go 8-0. Uh, oh yeah, and wait till that thing gets decaled. Yeah? Sure. All right, next up is Grant. Uh, he sent in a couple, this is a, a cool story. So he said um, his What's dad, his dad works for Riddell, oh. and this was the Chrome one was an award for hitting a threshold, maybe a million dollars in sales or something. Okay, well, so great. that's cool. And this one was another one. I can't mm -hmm. remember some concept thing with, but that yeah, looks a little, the 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 camo one or the digital camo one that actually looks familiar, as if I saw it maybe at one of the trade shows. Yeah, you know, Riddell typically has one of the best booth setups i love the fact that he took this award helmet but you know it didn't come with a visor and all that stuff so he was like 
He's in the game. He knows what's up. He's like, we got to doctor this thing up. It's cool to hear from people that have parents or grandparents or whoever that work for the companies. I think that that's neat. So yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, with those. Uh, let's let's do another 8.0. Yeah, and congratulations no. on whatever landmark you had to do to get that. It's yeah. not easy to earn adult awards these days, no. man. <laughs> All right, next up is Alpha Hillis. Hmm. Now this one is from Australia. It's kind of hard to get stuff in Australia. Sure. So. I mean, unless you're going to just pay out the ass for the, sh for the shipping. And right. I'll be honest with you, a lot of companies don't even ship outside the U.S. Um, when it comes to football helmets, we actually ship a decent amount of football helmets outside the U.S. Oh, yeah. Because there's not many companies in the U.S. that sell football helmets, yeah. that ship them out, and there's not many companies outside the house uh, or outside the U.S. that are offering them for sale, not in the, not in the selection that we've got. Right. So... I get it for sure, and yeah. it's uh, we have to work really hard, extra, to be able to offer international shipping because it, there's a lot of landmines that you can trip over well, in that I, process. And I agree, man. I mean, it is not easy to do what we do, but that's why we do it, and I suspect he got this mm -hmm. collectible from us, and if so, cool, and if you made it yourself, great. Good great. for you. And either yeah. way, thank you, and thanks for sending in. I, you know, the thing about this that jumps out is just the cardinal head Boom, boom. It's just it's just kind of sprinkled all over yeah, the place. Right. I love the cactus. That can't be real, right? <laughs> I hope not. It's, it looks like just your stock, out-of-the-box, collectible helmet, and that's where we're grading. I'll just go with the 7.0 on that. It's the rest of the stuff that kind yeah. of really brings it together. I think it's a great little um, corner to nice you know, little, his little shrine yeah, for the Cardinals. Cool. Yeah. All right, next up is Ron R., and he says, I'm a big Bruce fan. Oh, man, that's right. And I paid uh, tribute to his debut album, the Greetings from Asbury Park. So he's talking about Bruce Springsteen here, of course. And I lived one town over from Asbury Park for about 30 plus years of my life. So when I saw Tilly the Clown represented on the back, I oh. said, that's uh, cool. I don't know anything about Tilly the Clown. No. Uh, my stint living in New Jersey was far enough away from... Asbury Park, um, that I didn't, it, 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 none of it rubbed off on me. Let's just put it that way. Man, good it, or bad. Well, and there are good and bad things about Asbury oh, sure. Park, but my goodness, they've done a great job of bringing it back, and it is all about Bruce Springsteen. This is cool, and, man. And I'll tell you what would be, like, this is on a pretty old helmet. I'm wondering, is this helmet, a, is this a newly constructed helmet, and you just used one from you know, a design from 30 or 40 years ago? Or is this something that's been around for you know, 30 or 40 years? Like, and is there a, anything on here, that Steve, that jumps out at you as being new? The, it's a, a really good point. I think it is new, just made to look old, just because I can't imagine there being those kind of decals and graphics and stuff like 40 plus years ago. I, I don't know. I don't see. Let me see the back of the helmet again. I mean, you got the flag on there, but I don't see anything on here that's jumping out as... Right, it's true. I don't know. And It's dating it to a, to a new time frame. And, yeah. and this helmet, I don't even know what the, what this helmet is. I'm going to go with, uh, uh, even though I don't have the personal connection to this like you, Steve, so I'll give it some bonus points for that anyway. I'm going to go with a 9.0. That's great, man. Good work. Thank you, Ron. Next up is Ethan. All right, Ethan. This thing oh, is... Oh, boy, Ethan. This has seen better days. Well, something tells me that Ethan uses his head a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or he's fidgety and he's sitting on the side of the bench and he's just peeling <laughs> peeling paint off because, well, he's, he's bored. I find it incredible that the decal, the center stripe stayed. That's pretty funny. It means the decal is stronger than the paint? Yeah. Or uh, this was just not properly reconditioned and it was spray painted or something. I, I would almost... If I had to bet, I would say that this was a spray paint job. I mean, you do have chipping of paint regardless of who's applying. Yeah. You could have, you know, you could you could put a four thousand dollar paint job from Mercedes on here, and once that paint starts coming up, that's it. You know, that's on. it. So yeah. it's not like you can prevent it all the time. But this is pretty <laughs> rare to see something that basically it almost looks like you just pulled off a big chunk of paint. I like the face mask here. We've got the S2BDUC, mm -hmm. which is not very common of a style, not not these days anymore. Six. I, I'm going to go with a 4.3. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for that paint job. That's it. 
That's it. He knew it, it was it, coming. It crushed me. It crushed me, the paint job. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. And that's that with bonus points for the cool face mask. Right. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine if you didn't. Yeah. All right. Next up is Jared. And he says, my Riddell Speed with an OBJ mask, 24 karat, Oakley gold visor, sports star tin strap, blah, 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 all provided from you guys. And, oh, I, cool. and I love how, uh, yeah, I love it when, when, when it, whether it's on social media or when, it's, when somebody sends something on us, you know what you've got. Yeah, because a lot of people have no idea what they a are A lot wearing. of players don't know. I mean, we've talked to, Scary. to, to current players and ex-players at Division One teams. and like, hey, what kind of helmet are you wearing? And they, they don't, I was like, I, I don't know, whatever, whatever they give me. Yeah. They barely know that. It's crazy. Um, so this is a cool picture, too, because you got a, a couple of guys here um, that are all tricked out. I think it's great. We, you know, the, the, you know, the OBJ, it, I don't know what it is about it. It just mm -hmm. looks... It's, it's it's awesome. Sending pictures of yourselves or your teammates wearing the gear, I just think it mm -hmm. looks it's so cool. And I like that you got a story here. It's like someone's you know talking to somebody about exactly. maybe a, a play or giving a tip or a technique or something yep. like that. Overall, very cool. Love the fact that you knew what's going on and, and just the way the whole thing was composed. I'm gonna go with a eight point three. <laughs> you made him think on yeah, that one. Eight point three. Next up is Jordan Richardson. All right. Oh, there's a lot that I love here. Whoa, what is going on here? Is this a... He made himself his own little hype graphic. I'm assuming that's him, right? Yeah. So we've, got, we've got... Are those all the same helmet? Uh, yeah, I guess they are. Yeah. Maybe these are different pictures. Just I, different looks. I think this is cool. Dude, you made our logo look so good. I really appreciate the effort that went into the design of this graphic. It's excellent. Excellent. Yeah. You got a sleeve visor. You've got a sports star chin strap. You got the Nike chin strap sock. Uh, Under Armour clips. Another OBJ mask. Yeah. Yeah. What what could we do to make this better? Maybe some black clips or even white clips would work. Right? Oh, the face mask hardware. Face, face yeah. mask hardware. Yeah. yeah. And maybe matching buckles. But other, I mean, other than that, I mean, this thing is pretty pretty trick, tricked out. Um, I want to share this graphic, by the way, that says JR and stuff. That's that's a great social media yeah. thing. Yeah, and, and I don't know if you sent in a story with this, but when you mm -hmm. send in stuff like this, you, you got to tell us the story. So when we, if we do want to um, share it on our social media, yeah, we've got something good to say. Otherwise, we got to just make stuff up. Yeah, like I want to tag you and all that good stuff. So keep that in mind. Excellent yeah. stuff, man. What are you giving Jordan? Yeah, and for the helmet, let's go with a eight point two. Cool. And for that graphic, man, 9.5. Yeah, All right, next up is Kamari. All right, so Kamari's got some stuff going on with the, would you call this lens flare? Or it's more of a it's hazy? more of a, yeah. A Vaseline look? The glare. The first one is not so awesome. I think his portrait mode didn't know what to do, but that second one, he corrected it. He got it right. Is and there, he knew it. That's why he sent in two. Is there a story here or no? No, and only two pictures. So I think this is the Charlotte 49ers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we and we actually got some uh, whole decal set up from... Right. Was it from the 49ers that sent it to us, or was it from somebody who... No, it was the school. It was somebody at the school. Yeah, we were working. And was, we like did a build for them. Or, yeah, yeah, something. Um, and then there's the that, that, that black... The uni you know, clip twist, thing. Twist, yeah, the uni clip, the twist clip, whatever it is. I just don't like those. Well, if you didn't know that, you can take that off and just use two regular pieces of hardware clips. Yeah. Done. But yeah. The TPU. Uh, you the, know. the visor looks good. The The rest of the combination is good. It looks like it's been dulled down. I have a feeling that it's more bright and vibrant in person. I'm still going to go with a 7.3 on it. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. That's a good score. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Next up is... Tevin. That clear TPU line here, it doesn't help the helmet, but it doesn't hurt it either. I agree. Clear is the only thing that I would have wanted on this helmet. And I got to tell you, if you put a black face mask clip there, it, it, it wouldn't work. Destroyed. No, I almost, I kind of almost don't like the black um, shock clips. I mean, shock does have different colors. There's a white, there's a blue, they may even have an orange. I don't know. I love this shot of kind of looking down with all of it just in frame. Mm -hmm. I like the I like the color combo and I almost didn't even notice that big quarter turn thing because it is white. It just blends. It, it does just blend in and yeah. here and you in the blue and that visor is really popping. And that's a shock 1.0 visor. Uh, let's see, Steve, let's see. Everything we're putting together there, we got a lot going on, but I'm gonna go with an eight point one. 
There you go. All right. Next yeah, up. Nice job. Oh man, last already. This is, it. this is a social media handle of Luck O N C. All right. Very precise and intentional mm -hmm. close photos. Yeah, and well, they're nice and sharp. Right. And in well in focus. Yeah. And you got some things going on here, so that's nice. Um, you know, we got a Chrome US flag decal, which we actually include free in a lot of the products that we ship out the door. I'm gonna assume that's where it came from. We got the Oakley Prism visor. We have a, an SF2BD face mask, sports star chin strap, all kinds of stuff that's, it that, looks good. that it has the ear markings of uh, things being purchased from us. It really does. And, and maybe the helmet too. Maybe the helmet, and we appreciate that. I really love that mouth guard just tucked in there, it matches the O's. It's nice. You know, it's nice. I got to tell you, I've actually talked to the guys over at um, Shock. I think it's Shock Doctor. Yeah. Um, and we we don't sell those mouthpieces. We've talked about it. There, and it's just that there's, I don't know, I, I feel like you can kind of get them anywhere. Um, you tell us, leave your comments below. Should we offer those on our website? Would you buy them from us? If we, I if think we we're that them? close to doing it. I don't know. We've, we've been that close for like four years. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, so I like this one. Super, it just looks super clean. I know. Which is part the pictures and part that's just, just a clean setup. Yeah. Um, so let's go with the 7.9. Perfect. And that's how it's done, boys and girls. If you want to be on this show, don't forget, just tag us on social media or send in the best pictures that you can. You got to email them to picks at greengridiron.com. And if you're lucky enough and if we have time, we'll get to it and you'll make it on the show. Yes. So thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Until yeah. next time. Cheers. Cheers.